Switch Security Configuration. Switches SW1 and SW2 with configured with VLANs. Okay, VLAN 10, 20, 99, 100, and 999. Assign it to ports. Okay, and the networks. Create a secure trunk. Connect the gigabit zero to ports of the two access layer switches. Okay, this is SW1 and gigabit zero one is connected to multi-layer switch and this is SW2. And uh, gigabit zero one is connected to the multi-layer switch, but between SW1 and SW2 connect using port gigabit zero two on both sides. Okay, go to connections and select copper straight through cable and SW1 gigabit zero two connect uh, gigabit zero two on SW2. Configure port gigabit 01 and gigabit 02 as a static trunks on both switches. Okay, and access SW1 and configure gigabit 01 and gigabit 02. Enter, enable, configure terminal. Interface range. Okay, uh, enter interface range gigabit 01 and gigabit 02. Enter. Switch port mode trunk. Enter. Okay. Gigabit zero one and zero two. Switch port mode trunk. Disable DTP negotiation. And switch port no negotiate. Enter. Create bilance one hundred and give it the name native on both switches. Okay. Exit. Exit from interface range configuration mode and go to global configuration mode. Okay, enter and create VLAN 100. Okay, and name native. Okay, but use this name, okay, sensitive, native. Okay, and use this name, native, native name. Okay, case sensitive, enter. And configure all trunk ports on both switches to use VLAN 100 as the native VLAN. Okay, remember trunk ports gigabit 01 and gigabit 02 on SW1. Click here, enter, and exit. Interface range gigabit 01 and 02, enter. Switch port, trunk. Space native VLAN 100. Enter. Okay. And now you will see port consistency restored. Okay. Exit. Go to SW2 and use the same process. Go to SW2. Configure this port gigabit 01 and gigabit 02. Go to SW2. Enter. Enable configure terminal interface range gigabit 01 and 02 switch port mode trunk. Okay, switch port no negotiate, no negotiate, enter, exit, and on global configuration mode, create VLAN 100, VLAN 100. And name native, case sensitive, enter, exit, and select again interface range gigabit 01 and 02, and switch port trunk native VLAN 100. Okay, exit. And you will see port consistency restored. Secure unused switch ports. Shut down all unused switch ports on SW1. Okay. On SW1, and enter.
interface range uh, and select all user ports. The user ports are uh, faucet 24, 1, 2, faucet 10, gigabit 02, and gigabit 01. Okay, 1, 2, 10, 24, gigabit 01, and gigabit 02. So select interface range, uh, okay, 1 in use, so select uh, 1 and 2 in use. So select facet number 3 to 9. 10 is in use and select from facet number 11 to 23. 24 is in use and gigabit 01 and 02 in use. So the range is from 3 to 9 and from 11 to 23. Okay, enter. And shut down. Shut down, enter. Okay. This range of ports and shut down. On SW1, create a VLAN 999 and name it Black Hole. Case sensitive. Okay. Exit from interface range configuration mode and on global configuration mode, create VLAN 999. And the name is Black Hole. Enter and exit. Okay, the configured name must match the requirement exactly. Okay, case sensitive. Use this name. Uh, and move all unused switch ports to the Black Hole VLAN. Okay, and repeat the previous command. Interface range from facet 3 to 9 and from facet 11 to 23. And switch port mode access and switch port assign these ports to VLAN, switch port access VLAN 999. Enter, exit. Okay, remember VLAN 999 is the black hole VLAN. Implement port security. Activate port security on all active access ports on SW1. Okay. Gigabit 01 and Gigabit 02 are uh, trunk ports, but access ports are 24, Fast Ethernet 1, Fast Ethernet 2, and Fast Ethernet 10. Okay. Uh, Select the interface range from Fast Ethernet 1 to Fast Ethernet 2, Fast Ethernet 10, and Fast Ethernet 24. Enter. And switch port, port security. Okay, to enable port security. Enter. Configure the active ports to allow a maximum of four MAC addresses to be learned on the ports. Okay, switch port, port security, maximum four. Enter. For port FASTA Ethernet 1 on SW1, statically configure the MAC address of the PC using port security. Okay, so exit. Exit from interface range configuration mode and select only facet node one. Interface facet node one. And statically configure MAC address. Uh, switch port, port security, MAC dash address. And what is the MAC address uh, connected to facet node one, the MAC address of PC1? Access PC1 command prompt and verify the MAC address using ipconfig space slash or and copy this MAC address and paste here paste okay switch port port security MAC address and the MAC address of PC1 enter 
Configure each active access port so that it will automatically add the MAC addresses learned on the port to the running configuration. Okay. I am on interface configuration mode exit and on global configuration mode select again all the access ports. All the access ports are uh, 24, 1, 2, and 10. Okay. Interface range 1, 2, 10, and 24. All the access ports. And switch port. And switch port, port security, MAC address sticky. Okay. Enter. Configure the port security violation mode to drop packets from MAC addresses that exceed the maximum. Generate a six log entry, but not disable the port. Okay, if you want to generate a syslog entry or notification, use uh, restrict. But if you don't want to generate a syslog entry or notification, use protect. In this case, is restrict. Okay, not disable the port. Switch port, port security, relation, restrict, enter. Okay. For all the access ports, MAC address is sticky and violation restrict. Okay, exit. Configure the HCP snooping. Configure the trunk ports on SW1 as trusted ports. The trunk ports are uh, gigabit 01 and gigabit 02. Go to SW1. Interface range gigabit zero one dash two. Okay, IP DHCP uh, snooping trust. Enter. Limit the untrusted ports on SW one to five DHCP packets per second. Okay. If gigabit zero one and zero two are the trusted ports. The access ports are the untrusted ports. Okay, so select the untrusted ports. Okay, exit. And on global configuration mode, select the, the access ports that are the untrusted ports for the HCP. Fast Ethernet 1, 2, Fast Ethernet 10 and Fast Ethernet 24. Enter. And limit the untrusted ports to SW1 to 5 DHCP packets per second. IP DHCP snooping limit space rate 5. And 5 packets per second. Enter. Okay, and exit. On SW2, enable DHCP snooping globally. Okay, go to SW2, click here, enter, enable, configure terminal. On global configuration mode, enable IP DHCP snooping, enter. And for VLANs 10, 20, and 99. So repeat IP DHCP snooping, but specify VLAN 10, 20, and 99, enter. Configure port fast and BPDU ward. Enable port fast on all the access ports that are in use on SW1. Okay, and go to SW1 and select all the access ports. Remember, all the access ports are uh, all the access ports are 24, 1, 2, and 10. Okay, and select all the access ports. Uh, repeat the previous command is this interface range, facet another 1, 2, 10, and 24. Enter. And port fast. 
Okay, configure port fast. Spanning dash three port fast. Enter. Okay. The access ports, spanning three port fast. And don't worry about these messages. Okay, don't worry about these messages. Very good. Enable BPDU Word on all the access ports that are in use on SW1. Okay, here on interface range configuration mode, spanning tree BPDU Word enabled. Okay, spanning tree BPDU Word enabled. Enter. Very good. And exit. Configure SW2 so that all access ports will use port fast by default. Okay, go to SW2 and use spanning dash three port fast default. Okay, enter. This command will apply the port fast configuration on all access ports. Okay, all access ports. Okay, uh, completion 100%. Thank you very much.